Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I wanted to show you some of the new upgrades that I've made to my Star Trek fan film sets. Nobody does the things that I do in many cases. Nobody else. Okay. One sec. There. I put it in daylight mode. Uh, this is going to just be Cargo Bay. This is the next episode, which is going to be called Fire Crisis. going to be a lot of burns in that one. Uh, what you're going to have is, I'll show the muscleman carrying cargo to the shuttle bay to, and loading it onto a uh, ship. Nobody else does that. No one. These new hallways, by the way, I've added those. I had those in my inventory and finally got around to using them. Uh, they make it so you don't have to, I don't have to worry about uh, showing something in the background that I don't want in the background. So, they give me cover on that. The shuttle bay, uh, there'll be... The shuttle will land, and maybe I'll turn it around, and the muscle man will bring the goods to the shuttle, and it'll take off. As part of the storyline. That's it. Uh, this one is not resible yet, but I will make it resible with a resing system, so I don't have it uh, holding everything up. Sorry about that. You know, a hiccup or something. So we're going to go down to like Control Central. I'll put this on hold. Okay, it's Control Central. The uh, signs are you known as selectors, and the uh, uh, prims on the bottom there, those are known as uh, controllers, and they contain the various objects that are resed by my resing system. So I have a lot of pre-made sets here. First one's already set up, so we'll take a quick look at this. Didn't res properly thanks to a second life glitch. It's supposed to be a stage, but I can easily res one in here. That's not a problem. Anyway, Basically a social gathering type thing. I'm going to head back. Cause I'm going to go through these really quick. These are some of the new upgrades. Nobody else does this. No one. Not even animators. Okay, sick pay is now rising. I'll show you the new improved sick, sick bay. Well, it was in my last video, but I've added the uh, false hallways to keep uh, things from looking shabby. Oops, wrong way. All right, uh... Not all the doors actually lead to something. I'm just showing you how the uh, corridors work. Here's this new sick bay. It was in the last video, like I said. Uh, there were problems with the Voyager sick bay, which is what I was using before, and. Pretty much all the problems were basically uh, in here. They were in the conference room, so I created the conference room inside the sick bay so I could uh, have that and not have the problems. And my standard chairs there. I think this is a better sick bay. It's pretty spacious, looks attractive. This is one of the more recent innovations. 
This one gave me a whole lot of trouble. I was not amused. This is, uh, the cabins. Now, there's one cabin for captain. And one cabin for regular crew member. Obviously, I'm not going to make over 400 cabins. That would be absurd. So, I just created kind of a homey looking cabin for the captain. Because remember, it's going to be more spacious and there's going to be more in it. Just to be realistic. There's a picture of the old D7 uh, Klingon ship on the left and Enterprise on the right. And we'll move over to the other cabin. This is a crew cabin, much less fancy, obviously. But I want two types of cabins because the captain is just going to naturally have larger stuff. That's the way it's always been, that's the way it'll always be. Okay. This one gave me an incredible amount of grief. I don't know why. Billy and Scott out of sync or something. I eventually won the fight and I had to redo it from scratch. Unbelievable. I'm going to show you standard TOS transporter room. I've added special effects lately. So I can have them sparkling and being them up and being them down. I haven't used this since then, but at some point. Okay. Conference room. Uh, besides the hallway, one other upgrade. I had one of those stupid uh, three-way view screen things that they had. The problem is that you'll never get the third side to be exactly the length of the others. And the reason for that is they actually use a cube and they sawed off half of it. So you have one right, a one right angle and that makes it a right triangle and so you'll have a hypotenuse and it'll always be longer than sides. I try to get as close as I can. They'll never be exact, but most people aren't going to care anyway. That's a conference room upgrade. I will be using that, by the way, to post pictures and maybe eventually video on it at some point. Okay, wreck area. Uh... I showed something like this in the last video, one or two videos ago. I tend to use a minimalist approach for these things. It really bogs you down having to add scripts and position these things exactly right. Wow. Well, I don't know about that picture. Uh... I must, I've forgotten all about that one. No big deal. That's the wreck area. There's actually three areas connected to these, this hallway. None of these uh, leads to nothing. As far as I know. I may have to change that sign. That's more for my use anyway. Um. Uh, this is an auditorium. And this is the gymnasium. Not a lot here. It's only going to be a uh, minor thing as far as I'm concerned. I have you know, exercise dumbbells and such. I might show it, you know, a brief click, clip, and that'll be it.
Just for a bonus, this is a Zeta Reticuli lab. Uh, there's some rather nasty creatures. They like uh, zapping people and that type of thing. Basically, they take off on the grades, which some of us believe that we've been abducted before. I wake up with those scratches on my body I can't explain. That's unlike Second Life. That's no fantasy. Well, there you have it. Uh, this is my, you know, new upgrades. This one was a video tour ago, but these are my new upgrades. And I want you to remember one thing. No one else does some of the things that I do. Future upgrades as far as sets, thinking about auxiliary control, phaser room, brig, and there's always Jeffrey tubes and other things. So let's well, see. All depends on time and what I need it for. That type of thing. For now, I thank you for watching, and I want to remind you of one thing before I go. This is supposed to be about exploration. Unfortunately, all too many episodes of TOS were political, not uh, entertainment-based. And they didn't do a lot of exploring either. I don't think they... I think I saw one alien plant in the entire TOS show, and that was that nasty thing that Sulu had, he called Gertrude, that looked like it would take off your arm if you got too close to it. But anyway, uh, so I want to remind you that this is about exploration, and it's not about politics. Science topics are on topic because this is science fiction. Politics are gone. No political correctness. No right wing, left wing, center politics. No politics. Because this is about entertainment. And some people have a fit about my showing, uh, my showing female avatars dressed like they were in the original series, well, too bad. I don't know why I'm being told that, uh, this is unpleasant to look at. Even if she is a Vulcan, she's still pleasant to look at. I don't know why I'm being told that I shouldn't like that. But I have liberals on my own chat group who insist this is ugly. Beauty is ugliness, and ugliness is beauty. You tell me, I'm on a fact smart, thanks for watching, went longer than I wanted to.